Ah, PlayStation. Have you learned nothing yet? Besides this debacle with the whole PlayStation 5 30th anniversary. But then you got your former PlayStation boss, Sean Layden, making comments like this. Talk about shooting yourself in the foot. I mean, we've seen similar things happening when the developers of Concord refuse to take criticisms. And most of the time, not all the time, there are some toxic gamers out there. I'm not going to deny that. But for me, as a gamer myself, when you consistently ignoring what fans want and then you complain about your sales numbers not being as high, what, how, how, how are the gamers to blame when your game flops because you refuse to take criticism and things? And you guys have been making games for literally decades at least some of you guys industry professionals have been making games for decades you should know what gamers want we want quality product you know good story those of us who prefer good stories and engagement something that's going to hold our attention for a really long time but unfortunately sean Layden dropped this former playstation boss sean Layden reveals he left the company to avoid burnout. But that's not... I'm sure he was pushed out, but this is not the article. Give me one second. Here's the right article. Um, former Sony head responds to complain, complaining of Ghost of Shoshima, Ghost of Yotai's female protagonist. If you don't like it, don't buy it. These are words you should never tell your customers, people are there, that's going to be spending their hard-earned money on this product. It shouldn't be said. I mean, literally, you're sabotaging some of the sales. Don't get me wrong. This game is still going to sell like gangbusters. I myself will be buying me a copy of Ghost of Yotai, just like I have a, co a copy of uh, Ghost of uh, Tsushima. But Concord consistently, with their issues, the devs just did not respond very well to criticism. But anyway, following the big Ghost of Yotai reveal during Sony's recent PlayStation State of Play event, some have taken to criticizing the Ghost of Tsushima sequel for its female protagonist, and former Sony lead Sean Layden is having absolutely none of it. Responding to a thread during the rounds, Layden claps back saying the Ghost of Yotai was made to suit developer Sucker Punch's vision for follow-up to Ghost of Tsushima. It's a game and entertainment, a story of a team of creators believes in. They want to make this. He reiterates that it's a game, and if anyone isn't a fan of it, then they can simply not purchase it. And that's what some people are going to do, especially um, people that are still in, like, I guess, kind of like in the middle whether they should buy this game or not, it's going to push them to not want to buy this game. Ghost of Tsushima sequel stars a Japanese woman samurai um, warrior because, of course, it does. They can't help themselves until every franchise was built on masculinity is replaced by a woman. I don't think so. Honestly, we, we've had some good um, women protagonists in the past. I have nothing against that. If that's your whole reason for not buying this game, then... You know, that's your problem. To me, I have no problem with it. I don't really care who your protagonist is, whether it's male, female, or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Just give me a good, solid story, which they have delivered in Ghost of Tsushima, and I am hyped for this game. It looked absolutely amazing, and I will buy this game. And even if you go see, and I'll pull that up in a second, um, the YouTube page and we'll see what the like and dislike ratio is and i can possibly tell you i can probably tell you that it's going to be overwhelmingly positive um other than the hire that they that the person that they hired for this role you know they're causing a lot of ruckus over there in <laughs> twitter which is not helping the cause and sony's whole agenda of pushing dei and literally trying to hire more people that are more dei friendly um, doesn't help them at all, especially in a, in, in a 
very volatile industry like the game industry because the gamers will quickly turn on you if you don't make the right decisions. But at the end of the day, like like I've told you guys, man, I need me a good story, good, good content, just, you know, doesn't matter what it is. Make me be engaged. Let me lose myself for the next, I don't know, 8 to 20 hours and just have a really great time. I don't have a problem with it. So anyway, <clears throat> going, moving on. If you don't like it, don't buy it. That should be my, the name of the title of this video. In fact, why not make game yourself? He makes a valid point, one that may agree with. Amid complaints of Ghost of Tsushima pra uh, protagonists, many more fans are excited about the sequel and possibility of a female samurai. One discussed the history and legacy of samurai women, linking to a relevant history study. Another points fans forward documents on Oni Bugus Go uh, oh, can't say it. Oni Musha, female warriors from pre modern Japan who often fought alongside samurai men and have led them. There's no telling just yet what path Ghost of Shoshima Ghost of Yotai will take its plot though, but is setting in Hak Hakudo over three hundred years after the events from Ghost of Tsushima. I still feel like Sucker Punch might might put in something in that game, Ghost of Yotai. Um, maybe we'll see the fate of uh, Jin Sakai. Um, we'll we'll see something. There's something. There's got to be a story to be told. You know what happened during that era of Ghost of Tsushima, all the way up to Ghost of Yotai. Like what happened to the samurais? Did it become some sort of, you know? organization or something i don't know maybe i'm just overthinking it overthinking overthinking it but i'm curious to see what the link is between you know ghost of Tsushima and ghost of yotai how did they get there um are they going like kind of like an assassin's creed sort of way but um, anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> i'm just rambling at this point i don't care it's going to be an exciting game and i will buy it but let's go check what the likes and dislike ratio is on Ghost of Yotai. As you can see for yourself, um, the like to dislike ratio is overwhelmingly positive. 288,000 likes, 21,000 dislikes. This game is going to be a smash success. Over 4.9 million views in seven days. So, to me, you know, Sony, this is a success. Um, hopefully they can continue this. Um, you know, they didn't, I didn't get the sense of any DEI from the trailer. At least I didn't see anything negative about it. Um, we have seen a lot of, you know, games, especially pushing the DEI agenda. Um, female protagonist sent, tends to be more masculine, looking more like men instead of women. Um, we saw the things with Star Wars Outlaw, which got <laughs> it's not doing so well in sales. <laughs> so we I've seen that too, you know, but overall overall, this is gonna be a smash hit for Sony and it's gonna sell a shit ton of copies regardless of who the protagonist is. And to me, I don't really give a shit about that. I don't know how many times I can reiterate that I sound like a broken record at this point. Um, but oh, I'm, I'm just excited. Honestly, I can't wait to play this. I cannot wait to play the fuck out of this game. I may go back and play me some Ghost of Tsushima because this game got me hype. And I can't wait. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. But things you should never say to gamers, though. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Tell that to Concord and see how they're doing. Oh, you can't because Concord has been recalled and everybody has been refunded. The game is fucking dead. They were pushing an agenda and we just, we're just not here for that. We just want what we want. A solid story. An immersion. Like, let us get lost in the process. Let us get, let us just enjoy the games and just have a really great time. That's what we want. You know, we're not here for any of the other nonsense but anyway enough of me rambling on i'll see you guys in the next video make sure to like and subscribe appreciate y'all